Richard here for Radioactive RC. Today I have with me JR's flagship, the 28X. This is a fantastic transmitter. I've been fortunate enough to be using one of these over the last few months and I've really come to like it. It's great to use, super versatile, and it's a fabulous transmitter. Today I'm going to talk you through setting up an aerobatic aircraft using four aileron servos, two elevator servos, and two rudder servos. We'll also touch on setting up the trim functions for your knife edge mix for rudder aileron, rudder elevator, and an easy way to set up a trim function so that you can trim on the fly to increase or decrease the mix rate. Uh, this is pretty easy to do with this radio. There's multiple ways of all doing, doing all kinds of things, as with all these most powerful transmitters. Uh, but let's get started, and we'll show you it's done. Okay, we're going ahead and set up a new model, and we'll do a basic iMac model setup with four ailerons and uh, two elevator servos and two rudder. So pretty much we need to go into system menu, select model select, it'll ask you to turn off the RF, which we'll do. Just hit the button on the bottom here on the right hand side, new, confirming a new model. We'll do a fixed wing aircraft. Pretty much that's, that's it already established. Now we can name the model just by going up here, keyboard will appear, and we'll call this one a demo. Done. Okay, so now we can back out of there. And now we're back into the main function systems and uh, other menus with widgets and so forth. One of the things you'll need to consider when you're doing this is how many channels you need. At the moment we have this set up just on the standard 16 channels, which are all fast 16 channels. If you want to go back and amend this, you have to press the submenu to your auxiliary settings and then you can add more auxiliary channels and if you keep adding those, you keep losing the main channels. So now we're up to 20, 22 channels here. We've got 8 channels of auxiliary and 14 channels of fast. And the last one we can do is we've got uh, 28 channels in total, which gives us 12 channels of main and 16 auxiliary channels. Now, we don't need these, so I'll leave these all at fast, so I'll just delete all those as we go. That takes us back to standard 16 fast channels, which is ideal for what I'm doing here. Okay, so what we need to do now is the wing type. Just need to scroll across, select wing type, wings, now you can select flapper on if you only want uh, one aileron uh, servo per wing panel. Uh, I particularly want four. So you can just keep scrolling down. I'll go for four ailerons. There's multiple selections there, so you just pick the one you want. Now for the tail type, I want two elevator, two rudder. I can select that. That's it done. Now while we're here, we can do some other changes. A few things I advise you to do is get into the trim system here. And when you flick that open, you'll find that all the trim steps on all the, all the surfaces are all set to four, including the throttle. Now I find this a little coarse, particularly for fine tuning. Now you can change the steps. Well, on the throttle, I usually go back to two. All the flying surfaces, I take them back to one. That gives you a much, much finer range of movement and you find for, for nice uh, fine trimming, one's desirable. For, obviously for setup flights you can actually set the thing up to uh, to be a little more coarse if you think you're going to need big adjustments but to be honest today's modern aerobat aircraft they don't quite need that they're real quite good. Now another thing you might want to set up while you're in here too is your flight modes uh, the trimming functions for those. If you press the sub menu here you'll get a flight group setting we'll click on that but you'll notice that these are all set one two three so as your flight modes change, your trim changes it. Depending on the software you got, on the early versions, all of these, you need to select these. For, we're on the rudder at the moment. Send them back to group one. And that will keep the trims exactly the same for all flight modes. Now you'll have to do that for all the flying surfaces and the throttle.
Run it down, get the throttle down. When that's done, you can back out of there now. It's all set. So once that you set up your uh, your flight modes and your dual rates, you may want to do a standard rudder elevator, rudder uh, aileron mix, which is for knife edge. This is fairly easy to set up. Here we have rudder elevator. Push the button, you can go to rudder aileron to do the setup on that. There's nothing in there. What you need to do, you can just push on on no on the height on the points. I'll put in 10% on this end. Push on the low point. Ten percent on that end, and here we have a V curve. Now, if you want to add different points along here, you can add those. If you see, if you move the, the rudder stick across, I can select a point where I want to add. There's a point there, point there, and then I can go back into these points here, make adjustments as I see fit. You can push the rudder across. I can start making changes to the output here as I wish. You can see it changes up here. I can take some of that out if I wish and change the, the range of the curve. Now you can add points as much as you like across the ends here uh, and make changes from there on. Then obviously you go back and do that the rudder aileron and away you go. Now another function you do have here is you hit the sub menu, you've got trim input settings. What you can do on here is set up a trim switch which is will allow you to adjust, it, adjust all of this on the fly. And you can change it for all the points that you want, uh, or you can have multiple points set up, or sing individual points set up for different switches for what you want. Uh, now, in order to do this, as you push that, you can see the imp trim inputs inhibited at the moment. And at the moment, we've got nothing set up for trim switches. So we have to go back into the menu and set up a trim switch. So we'll back out of that. Got a system menu. And it's got trim trim input switch is the selection we need and we'll make TOS00 a direct drive its output range at the moment these are like trim steps I want this to go in, in increments of one and the switch I want to use is this little chap here so we'll just push on that that's the one I want to use and away we go so this is on it's telling me that it's on you can assign a switch to turn this on and off as you like so as we back out, go back to function menu. Scroll across the rudder elevator mix. In the sub trim display, we can activate that. Then we have TS001 already set up and we can pick the points that we want to change. So the ones I want to change are the outer ones and the two inner ones that I've set up. And now as I push the trim button, you can see all of this on the graph moves with the trim switch. So you can do all of this on the fly.